بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله We're still in the first 10 days of Ramadan This is the time we should evaluate ourselves This is when we should be asking ourselves some questions What have I done so far in order to attain this taqwa? What am I doing? So that Allah will forgive all my past sins. Am I on my path? Am I working on becoming a better person? Have I abstained from what Allah has forbidden me? Am I doing more act of worship than I was doing the last 11 months? How is my life now in this month of Ramadan? We should be questioning ourselves and inshallah we should be able to answer ourselves because we know ourselves. As we know my dear brothers and sisters, Ramadan is the month of forgiveness. And the forgiveness is not for everyone who is just present in this month of Ramadan. It's for people who work for it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Man swama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaban gufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi La whoever fast in the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith seeking Allah's reward Allah will forgive him all his past sins So the people that will be forgiven are the people who will fast out of sincerity they will fast only for the sake of Allah they will not fast because everyone else is fasting and then they do it knowing that Allah will forgive them knowing that Allah will reward them for fasting these are the people that will be forgiven so my dear brothers and sisters as we know in this same month of Ramadan the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to us that when the month of Ramadan comes in, the doors of the heavens are open. The doors of the hellfire are closed and the shayateen, the devils, are chained. So in this month of Ramadan, we cannot make the same excuses that we used to make the last 11 months. We cannot blame shaitan for our own shortcomings and mistakes. This is when we see our level of iman. We see where we stand. We see the level of our self-control. Are we able to abstain from what Allah has forbidden us? Or are we still indulging into it? In this same month of Ramadan, there are some brothers so sad that they are in haram relationships and they still continue this haram relationship. Even though during the days of Ramadan, they acted as if they are married couples. They abstain from intercourse. But they still eat the food of this person. They still communicate with this person. They still spend time with this person. And sometimes you find them watching TV together, waiting for the time for iftar. In this same month of Ramadan, soon as the Adhan comes for, if, uh, for Maghrib, the first thing that goes into somebody's mouth is the cigarette. They cannot wait. Soon as the Adhan comes, the first thing they use to break their fast is the cigarette. In this same month of Ramadan, as we know, the shayateen are chained. But the human shaitan is more difficult to deal with than the jinn shaitan. Because the jinn shaitan, when you say you seek refuge in Allah, you say, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim he leaves you alone. When you recite the Quran, especially Ayatul Kursi, he leaves you alone. When the adhan comes, he leaves you alone, they run away. But the human shaitan, he stays with you no matter what. These are people that sometimes we call friends. Some of us are with us 
in the same month of Ramadan, while fasting is going on, they try to convince you that doing this is not that bad. Or they will tell you at least you're not committing a major sin. Sometimes these same friends will tell you it's okay to go to the club after we break our fast. Sometimes these same friends, they will tell you that it's okay to contact or deal with your haram relationship after you broke your fast. These are the same people that sometimes they will even convince you, look, I will pay for you. Come with me. We'll go together. Sometimes they convince you, I will come and pick you up. I will make it easy for you so we can go to where we're going. My dear brothers and sisters, abstaining from our bad desire includes our bad friends. If there is somebody that is not bringing us closer to Allah, this is the time that we stay away from them. We shouldn't wait for this person to lead us or mislead us into committing what is haram. Because in another narration, the Prophet wasallam he said, You will not attain taqwa until you abstain, you keep away what is harmless in order that you prevent yourself from engaging into what is harmful. My dear brothers and sisters, we shouldn't be wasting this month. We should be doing more in terms of achieving this taqwa. We want Allah to forgive us. Everything that we've done this past 11 months, this is the time that we ask Allah to forgive us and this is the time that we turn on to a new leaf. This is the time that we close the old page. We open up a new leaf and we start becoming better people and better Muslims. My dear brothers and sisters, let's not waste this month of Ramadan, this opportunity that Allah has given us to come closer to Him. My dear brothers and sisters, I pray that this is beneficial to you and me, myself, and inshallah, I was, you know, I will be making another video regarding taqwa. What is taqwa? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.